Hello everyone, Scott Gilmore here with young PBA superstar Michael Tang. And we're going to take a few minutes out of his time here at the Indiana High School Bowling State Finals to see how things are going on the tour and uh, what his goals are for this upcoming season. And, and Michael, you've started off great uh, this season so far with a TV show in Lubbock. Tell us your experiences in that and uh, how you can improve as well. Yeah, I mean, the season's young. Um, you know, I just spend a lot of time trying to learn what I do bad. And, you know, I just go into every tournament saying that, you know, if I try my hardest, uh, it's going to be enough. Or if it's enough, it's enough. If it's not, then, you know, just review and see what I can do better. You know, I'm lucky that at Storm we have a lot of great help out there on tour with you know, Jim Callahan and all the other people he brings out with us. So uh, it's just a big old learning process. And, you know, if more results like this past week come, then it's great. Now, uh, the season is young, uh, plenty of big stops coming up, a major coming up soon. Um, uh, what, what's your goals as you proceed throughout the season? Yeah, uh, obviously the ultimate goal is winning, but um, I would just, you know, making match play rounds is obviously um, the first step to getting, obviously, the TV show and winning. And, you know, I feel like if I can just keep making match play rounds, you know, if you get the round robin match way to go your way, then you know that leads to shows, and you know, it's just really all just doing as well as I can. If at the end of the season, I'm much better than I was when I started the season, then I'll call that an accomplishment, and you know whatever results follow that, and whatever results come. Now you had a uh, really successful collegiate career at San Jose State, two-time uh, collegiate All-American. Have you used some of that experience to help kind of launch yourself into the PBA? Yeah, I mean, a lot of my college bowling was a lot of learning, a lot of, it was teaching me how to not just bowl, but it was a lot about um, controlling my emotions and composure and all of that. Because, uh, I mean, honestly, when I started college, I was a little bit of a wild child, you know, get really mad, kick stuff. But, you know, it's all just a learning process for me. I'm, I'm just really trying to let the results come as they do, and I'm just trying to control what I can control. Your first... Uh TV show was in actually the USBC Masters, if I remember correctly. Now your second show being in Lubbock, were you more calm, more confident in that second show compared to the first? I'd say it was about the same. Um, it was just a different environment because I feel like the scoring pace was a little higher during the Masters, so getting adjusted to the lanes wasn't really that difficult, but Lubbock was a little bit of a challenge. Um, I had to worry about a couple of different factors compared to the Masters. So it's just a different experience. It's all just really different learning experiences. And, you know, I think that'll help me get better for the next few shows that I hopefully make. What's it like traveling with your brother, Darren? Uh, it's great. I mean, uh, a lot of guys sometimes, I feel like, could struggle out here trying to find people to hang out with all the time and build strong relationships. I was fortunate enough to come into the tour with an already strong relationship and, uh, you know, also with Chris and I, we, we always travel together as a threesome and, you know, we just have a strong brotherhood and it's really nice to have, you know, people to bounce ideas off of when we're off the lanes and, you know, just even taking our minds off of bowling, it's really easy for us because we all know, we know each other pretty well and we all have common interests. So, you know, we'll go out after a block, if we had a bad block, we'll go play Pokemon Go or whatever. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, a, it's really helpful to have someone else that you're really close to out there. When Michael is not competing on the PBA Tour, where would a fan expect to find him at? <laughs> Online on the Call of Duty servers, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, let me ask you this. My, my boys are into uh, Fortnite. Are you, uh, are you a Fortnite player? I have not played Fortnite. No, no Fortnite. So, uh, as you uh, move on to the, to the next major, uh, what's your travel plans and, and, and how do you prepare for the, the next big event? Yeah, I'm not going to be at the uh, tournament champions, but fortunately, um, the players' championship is right after that. It's in Columbus, so it's only 40 minutes away from me. So, luckily, I'll have a few weeks at home. Um, yeah, it should be a, aside from bowling, a fairly stress-free week for me. Uh, yeah, you've moved into Ohio now. What's that been like? Uh, it's definitely a change from California with the weather and all that. But you know, it's nice having new life experiences. Obviously, you know, learning how to deal with snow and all this weather. It's, I, it's, I'm not saying it as a bad thing. I think it's just, you know, learning different walks of life. I think it's really cool. Now, for all of Michael Tang's fans out there, how can they find you 
social media? How can they follow your, your, your season as you go? Facebook, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm really big into Instagram. I have a Facebook page also that's linked to Instagram. So anytime I really post on Instagram, it's at Easy Mike Breezy. And then, <laughs> in, uh, <laughs> then on Facebook, you can just find me at Michael Tang Bowling. And yeah, that's where you'll get all my updates. All right, uh, so fans, uh, you need to follow this guy. Uh, a real young superstar in the making here, Michael Tang. Uh, and look for him uh, maybe on a few more TV shows later on in this PBA Tour season. Thanks for your time, Michael. No problem. Thank you.